Hello everyone, my name is Yellow and welcome back to episode 55 of my WWE 2K14 Universe Mode. And we are back on Raw after a great No Way Out pay-per-view where Bri Daniel Bryan somehow managed to overcome the odds and defeat both Mark Henry and Brock Lesnar in a triple threat match. Somehow, I don't even know. But uh, yeah, that happened. And we are now one month away from Money in the Bank. Should be a good one. Should be. Because we can finally play an interesting match like a Money in the Bank match. Should be good, but anyway. I showed you the match card at the end of the last episode with all of these peoples. And the match that people wanted to see was... Jimmy Uso vs Seth Rollins. And for whatever reason, everything is exactly the same as it was. Apart from now the match is a false count anyway instead of a singles match. I don't know. Somehow I turned it back on and I was like, wait, hold on, false count anyway? Shouldn't that just be a normal one-on-one? -on -one? And I had to check the video to see if it was a normal one-on-one -on -one or not. And it was. It, on the video it was just a normal one-on-one. -on -one. But now it's false count anyway. But everything else about the match card is exactly the same. So I don't know what happened there. But yeah, people wanted to see Jimmy Uso versus Seth Rollins in a one-on-one -on -one match. But now it's false count anyway. So it's still going to be the match I'm going to play this episode. And... We sort out the rivalries on the last episode. We have CM Punk versus Ryback for that WWE Championship. Seth Rollins and Jimmy Uso, the rivalry. And the Real Americans versus Sin Cara and Rey Mysterio for that Tag Team Championship. And SmackDown still hasn't formed the new rivalries yet. They will be decided probably on Superstars. So, you know, that's a while to go yet. Um, but as always, we are going to now predict the outcomes of these matches here. So first match... We have Tensai versus Roman Reigns. Uh, it's gotta be Roman Reigns. Yes, it is. Roman picking up the win there in that match, the first match of the card. Next match, we have the main event player taking on Fandango, and Fandingle is gonna pick up the win here. No, Brodus Clay, the main event player, did pick up the win. Wow, okay, so I'm 1 for 2 right now. Next match, we have Jack Swaggerific 5000 versus Sin Cara in a submission match. And I'm giving this one to Swagger just because. Him and Antonio Cesaro are on such a roll right now, and, you know, Jack Swagger's finisher is the Patriot Lock, and Sin Cara, well, he does have that arm finisher, but Jack Swagger has to be. Oh my god, Sin Cara getting the submission win there, wow. Okay, so I'm one for three. Hmm. Wait, there's only five matches? Yeah, that's right, that's right, yeah, should be. Um, but anyway, final match, we have CM Punk versus Ryback, false count anywhere. I'm giving it CM Punk. And he does pick up the win there. So two for four. How many did you get right? Anyway. Ryback delivered a vicious attack against champion CM Punk. Oh, Is CM Punk ever going to lose this championship though? He has been champion since the start of Universe Mode. He has defended his championship at all three pay-per-views and succeeded. What a guy. What a guy. And, you know, on, wait, on SmackDown. You know, Randy Orton's been champion for a while. Kane's been champion from the start, I'm pretty sure. So, you know... Kane and CM Punk, never going to lose, but every other championship has changed hands, I'm pretty sure. Apart from the tag team on NXT, but all the rest, I'm pretty sure the Shield had held the tag team championships for a while. Kofi, you know, the United States championships being passed around all over the place. Jindal's held it for a while after the first pay-per-view. Both of these have held it since the first pay-per-view they've had. And Orton's been champion for a while in the World Heavyweight picture. But Kane and CM Punk never going to lose the championships, apparently. But uh, it's time to play Jimmy Uso versus Seth Rollins. Falls count anywhere match. Should be interesting, so let's get to it. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring. From San Francisco, California. Jimmy Sue. Oh! Uh, the WWE Universe letting him hear it!
Okay, so here we go. Jimmy Uso, Seth Rollins. I'm gonna be. <laughs> they did land on Seth, but I turned it along. I want to be Jimmy Uso. Let's be Jimmy Uso. Alrighty then. Because we haven't been the Usos yet in this universe mode, and we've had them since the start, so you know, it's about time. And the Usos never been on a WWE game yet. Their entrance has been, and. Actually, wait, were they in the last year's game? I feel like they were, and now I want to check. But, um, their entrance was definitely in, but I can't remember if they were. Hmm, they might have been DLC last year. Ah, oh, I really want to check now, but I'm like mid match and stuff. Ah, oh, I can definitely do this though. Oh, oh! 13. Alright, let's see. Were they? Yeah, they were. They were in last year, okay. So the Usos were in the DLC last year, but then they were taken out again for this year? I don't understand. Why didn't they keep them in? The Usos have been around for years, and, you know, they finally get into a game, and then, you know, they're, they're gone again next year. And now they're getting, like, a huge push they're on TV all the time. They're definitely going to be in the next WWE game. Without a doubt, the Usos are going to be in the next WWE game. It's going to happen. Um, so that should be good. That should be good seeing the Usos in the game. And uh, it's interesting to to think about who is and who isn't going to be on the game because there's always DLC of the newer guys. And right now, the only new guy I can think of is Alexander Rusev, and even then, he hasn't had a proper match yet. Um, so you know that's uh, different, I guess. And who else is there? Who else is recently? recently appeared on the roster. Hmm. I'm trying to think and no names are coming to mind right now. You know, so regarding the DLC next year, I don't see any of the current roster being left off because the people who are being shown on TV are, you know, all they've all been around for a while. There hasn't been a name who has came up anytime recently who won't be in the game, you know? Like, the DLC for this year with Big E and Fandango, uh, you know, they, they've all, they were recent at the time, but they've been around for long enough now that they won't be left out on the next game, so who is honestly going to be left for DLC? Unless they do a whole pack with without any of the current superstars because they're already all on the game. So I don't know. I don't know who it could be. Maybe Tensai and Brodus Clay, maybe? No, they've been on games for a while now, so I doubt they'll take them out. Uh, just because they, they won't have to change the character models much unless they're doing a completely uh, rehaul of the, the graphics and stuff, then I doubt they'll take those character models out of the game because, you know, they're already good and stuff. Um, but I, I honestly don't know who could be a person who would be left to DLC. Hmm, interesting stuff. Unless they just do Legends packs, but you know, I don't know. I really hate how there's so many Legends on the games each and every year, you know, because it gets it gets repetitive and I would rather see a full current day roster than Legends. We have had so many games now in a row, about the past four games maybe, where half of the roster has been Legends and I don't want to see that anymore, I really don't. And, you know, they're bringing more focus on NXT. They mention it a lot on the actual shows on both Raw and SmackDown now. They mention NXT. And it will be interesting to see if they finally add in some NXT superstars to the game. On NXT brand. Uh, like an actual brand. Because on Universe Mode, they already have the logos and the arena and everything. But no superstars from NXT. So maybe uh, next year is the year that they finally bring in the NXT superstars. And that would be great. That would be the best thing for me, anyway, if they bring in the NXT Superstars. Because I don't watch NXT often, but I do know who is there. And, you know, just having those extra people, even if um, the people who don't watch NXT see the NXT Superstars, they will get to know them from their entrance themes. The way they walk down to the ring, they'll get to know... If their fan favourites are heels, they'll get to figure out their character just by looking at them and stuff. And by having all of the NXT stuff on the game, like if that was if it was me anyway and I didn't know anything about NXT, 
I would want to know who these people are, so I would start watching NXT to find out who these guys are and picking my favorites so I can use them more on the game instead of just being like, well, who are these guys, you know? So I think it would be smart for WWE to add in the NXT superstars, just because people would be curious if they didn't know who they were, and they'd be like, hmm, I've got to find out who this guy is. He seems pretty good on the game, so, you know, I want to know who this guy is. And I think it would be good. I think that would be a good idea, but... I don't know, it's probably not going to happen. We're probably going to see the same thing as usual. We're going to have about 50 legends and 20 current day superstars, and that's going to be the roster. And uh, it's going to be a pile of poop. And that's not what I want to see at all. Anyway, it's time for Jimmy. Oos! Oh, I was just about to jump. Okay, um, let's go from this corner. Can we reach all the way over there? Can we jump over the chair? Oos! Oh, no, we landed on the chair. Great. We landed on the chair. We do have a comeback though. Get out of here, Seth. Rolling Ada. Get up. Time for the comeback. Oh. 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 The Y. I nearly missed that there. Boom. Whose comeback is that? Is that Seamus? I think it's Seamus. Because it's a shameful thing. Lobster head. But Seth Rollins has just been flawed right now. And, you know, we are the Oos man, Jimmy Oos. Oh! Let's go up top. Time to fly! Oos! Oh, my goodness. He reversed it. Seth, rolling it out with three finishers now. Ah! Oh. Jump to that side. Oh, we missed. We missed. We missed. Not good. This is false count anyway as well. Oh, my God. He's going for the pin. Oh, just a one count. Just a one. Get off me, Seth. Oh, I didn't even run there, but whatever. Oh, whew, whew. This isn't good. This isn't good. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Seth, not even trying. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my God. Oh, I don't believe I nearly missed that there. That would have been the worst ending ever. But uh, we are surviving right now. Seth, still... Oh, he's powering up. Oh my god, I'm getting up. No, 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 no. Oh! No, too late. Through the table, maybe. Oh! I've got to use resiliency. Oh! Oh! As soon as I get up, he's going to do it again. And that that would have been it. Oh! We down, though. We down. Not good, he's going to fill the pit again. Oh my god, I'm not going to get this. Oh, I did. I did. That's all good. Come on, get him. Oh! Now he threw that table. Come on, get up, get up, get up, get up. Seth, get up! Seth! The ref doesn't know whether to be in the ring or not! Oh, oh we got him. Oh. Did we hit him that time? Yes, we did. This is gonna be it. This is gonna be it! Time to finish him. Here we go! Boom! Bubba bomb. <laughs> it is though, it's just a bubba bomb. Okay, let's nice pin. One, two, three, and Jimmy Oos! Oh, picks up the win. What a win. And what a start of the rivalry between the Uso, well, Jimmy Uso and Seth Rollinator. Oh, what a kick, though. I think that kick could have probably been enough. But, oh, I thought that was going to be the bomb. bomb. But, uh, not yet. This is it. This is it. Oh, it catches him. Oh. Oh, my goodness. So, Jimmy, the Uso man, picked up the win. There we go, there's a three count and a false count. Anywhere match. And what a win, what a win. Oh, oh, he's shaking hands. Shaking hands, get out of here, Uso. No, no, not gonna happen. Pfft. Shaking hands with an Uso. Wouldn't even think about it. He said, come on, man. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Seth Rollins ain't having any of that. Not at all. But, um, oh, we have an update here on WWE.com. Competition between Jimmy Uso and Seth Rollins is heating up. Yes, it is. But next episode is NXT. Let's have a look at the match card. And as always, pick your favorite match, comment it, and the one that is the most thumbed up or most commented will be the match I play in the next episode. So let's have a look at the match card here. We have Diego versus Adrian Neville, Fernando versus Luke Harper, Sami Zayn versus Tyler Breeze in an Extreme Rules match, Drew McIntyre versus Jinder Mahal. Hmm. And Eric Rowan versus Bray Wyatt again in a one-on-one -on -one match. 
Now, from what I remember, last episode we seen... Wait, I'm gonna have to check. I'm pretty sure it was the the Sami Zayn versus uh, Tyler Breeze match. Let's see. No, it wasn't. Last, last NXT was Adrian Neville. Alright, that's fine, that's fine. And then the one before that was Justin Gabriel. Alright, well, in that case, we are not going to uh, block any of these matches. I was thinking about blocking this one, but we haven't seen it yet. So, which match would you like to see on the next episode out of these five? Leave a comment on which one you like to see. And like I said, the most commented one will be the match that is picked. But anyway, that is going to be it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to thumb up the video, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you next time.